What's going on everybody? Jeff back here with another Happy Head Beer Review. Tonight we've got the second Russian River Brew that I've ever done. This is their Supplication. So basically this is a uh, sour brown ale that they age in Pinot Noir berries, barrels and they add cherries. But that's not all that they add. Let me read uh, what this says from the website really quick. It says, it's a brown ale aged in Pinot Noir barrels from local Sonoma County wineries. It is aged for about 12 months with sour cherries, Britannomyces, Lactobacillus, and Pediococcus added to each barrel. Flavors from the cherries, Pinot Noir, and oak balance each other nicely with a little funk from the bread. So I think this one is available year-ish round, like where whenever they have some done, you know, they bottle it, that kind of a thing. But it's one of the more available ones, more than like, so more than like a damnation, not damnation, damnation uh, year round, but like a... Uh, some of the other shun beers, but I'm really excited for this one. This one is about a year old in addition to it taking a year to make, um, but it's from Batch 9, if any of you guys know when that one was from, and there's like a, a book basically on the back of it, but um, I've been ready for this one for a while, so let's go ahead and get into it. Mm, I can already smell it uh, coming out of the bottle, but Cage has a says Russian name on it, and then the... The cork says, you know, like, no pint glasses. Make sure you serve it in, like, a tulip or a snifter or something like that. I think you should probably serve it in a, uh, a flute, but I don't have that, so we'll go with this. <laughs> First thing you notice about this one is the carbonation. You can see the amount of bubbles that are uh, on the side of it. Uh, crazy amount streaming up from the bottom, really fine um, bubbles at the bottom of the head, and about... A finger to a finger and a half of a kind of off-white eggshell, kind of sticky-looking head. A uh, little, little fluffy. Definitely can stir up some more. Um, all right, color, uh, kind of golden. It's got a slight red hue. Um, they call it a brown ale, maybe verging on brown, but not quite there. Um, but maybe they're talking about more of like a uh, eau de brune. But a really, really pretty-looking beer. Right, let's go ahead and give this one a smell. Super vinous. I uh, got a lot of like that. Is like. Um, white grape kind of characteristics, like a grape skin, uh, slightly acidic. You're getting the cherries, but they're not overwhelming like you think a, a, a cherry beer would be, like maybe a, a lambic or something like that made with a, with an intense amount of cherries. I'm not really getting too much on the, the oak front, but I'm getting a lot of uh, lactic qualities, that kind of a thing. But I'm getting a lot of sweet cherries, kind of vinous grape kind of a thing like you would get from uh, a lot of these sour. Right, I've been excited for this one for a while, so let's go ahead and give this one a taste. Cheers. Holy fuck, that's sour. Ooh. First thing you notice about the flavor is the mouthfeel. Um, it's light to medium, but it is incredibly dry. Like, my mouth is puckering right now. It's not bad, though, because it kind of makes you want to to drink more, <laughs> I guess. So it kind of begs you to take the next sip. Now you are getting some of those, uh, like those grape skin kind of things, like uh, you would get like in wine, or uh, some other sour beers like that too. Um, but it kind of, it kind of goes well with the cherry flavor too. The cherry flavor is not overwhelming, like in some of the, I'd say like the Lindemans Creek and things like those, where they're kind of just like fruit bombs. This one, it's, it's there, but it's like, it's got a good tartness that I like too. Some of the other ones are just too fruity and sweet, but this one has a good balance between the sweet and the sour. Um, I say balance, but really the, the sour is overwhelming the, the fruitiness. Yeah, this is super sour, but it also is just, it's really easy to drink. And, uh, at 7% alcohol, you're not getting any of that. Um, and it's a really delicious beer, so I'm going to sip on this one for a little bit longer, and then I'll give you guys my final verdict on the supplication from Russian River Brewing Company. All right, guys, I'm back with the supplication from Russian River Brewing Company. Well, I'm going to go with the B plus on this one. I really like this one a lot. Um, I'm I'm not too familiar with sours, uh, especially American sours, American wild ales. I mean, I've I've had a lot of beers with a uh, bread in it, but not that do uh, souring with bacteria, other bacteria and things like that. But as far as this one goes, it's great. It's got a lot of the things that you look for in a uh, a Belgian sour to uh, I would say this is pretty similar to um, a Rodenbach or a Rodenbach Grand Cru maybe not as good but uh, definitely delicious uh, it's got a lot of those wine characteristics um, like you would expect in some of those styles uh, of some of the Flanders styles I mean it is aged in wine barrels and then it's got a nice fruitiness it's got the cherries and everything in there um, and it's a pretty good beer it's really easily drinkable super dry uh, but it doesn't have as much of a funk characteristic as you get on some of the 
some of the other beers with the bread and things like that in it, but it still is, uh, it's delicious and really easily drinkable. So, um, if you can get Russian River stuff, I highly recommend, uh, picking this one up and, uh, send me a couple of bottles too. <laughs> All right. So that's it for the supplication. Um, but I'll see you guys in another beer review. Cheers.